might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and for today's video I'm going to be making a Mexican pinto bean soup and Marie's already came over here this morning and she made some of her real good Mexican cornbread muffins that we're going to have to go with it and I'm going to be substituting a couple of items on the recipe but we're primarily going to be using items that we had in our pantry uh, without having to go to the store and buy items. Uh, right now, I'm waiting on this to heat up just a little bit. The main thing I'm going to be substituting, instead of using vegetable broth, I'm going to be using beef broth. And then the recipe, you can either use dried pinto beans that you cook, or you can use them in the can. So I'm going to be using uh, pinto beans straight out of the can. Uh, you know that we do a lot of prepping, and I've got a lot of these cans of pinto beans sitting on the shelf out there, so this would be a good chance to use them up. So uh, let me see if this feels hot enough. It's getting close. I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in there. First thing I'm going to do, I've got one tablespoon of olive oil in there heating up, and I'm going to add one... Uh, diced onion. This is about a medium sized onion. And I can tell it's not quite hot enough so I'm going to stir this around let it saute for about four or five minutes. And as soon as this gets to sauteing I'll be right back with you. Okay, the onions are starting to saute now, so I'll give them just a couple more minutes. Uh, I had to move my camera that was sitting right here. I moved it up a little bit higher there. I forgot that sometimes when you're cooking, that steam will come up and get into the camera. So I wanted to get out of the way before the steam got to it. These onions are really smelling good. Today outside for our weather, it's uh, real warm. And it's a pretty day, but it's uh, sort of cloudy and overcast. We're supposed to be getting rain again later this evening. So uh, I've got all my lights on. Hopefully you'll be able to see us okay. Okay, those onions are starting to look real good. So I'm going to go ahead and add my other ingredients into it. The first thing I'm going to add to it is one can of the uh, fire roasted tomatoes. And if you don't have these, you can use regular tomatoes for it, okay? And I believe you're supposed to add the juice and all. Okay. And then I'm going to add three a spoonful of uh, minced garlic. I'm 
then I'm going to add my carrots. This is about two or three small carrots that I got diced up. And then I'm going to add my potatoes to it. I've got water in now, so let me drain this water off real quick. Okay, I've got that water off. Marie taught me to always, on your potatoes, after you dice them up and wash them, to leave them sitting in water. If you don't, they turn brown. So, okay, so there's my potatoes. Now I'm going to add all of my spices to it. And the recipe will be uh, in the description for this video below. And it tells you what all these spices are. So I'm going to go ahead and add all these in. Okay, I'm going to give it a real good stir. Okay, the recipe calls to let this uh, cook for two minutes after you put everything together and get it steered in. So as soon as this cooks for two minutes, I'll be right back with you. And I will say this does smell great. I uh, think it's going to make a real good pinto bean soup. Okay, I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, I'm back now. That's been cooking for two minutes. I guess it just lets it warm up a little bit, the other vegetables. Um, honestly, I don't see what difference uh, letting it sit for two minutes did. Next thing I'm going to add is two cups of beef broth. Now, like I said, the recipe calls for vegetable broth, and that would make it an all-vegan recipe, but Marie and I don't mind using beef broth. It's probably going to give it some real good flavor. Okay, get this steered in good. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let it come up to a boil. And after it comes to a boil, I'm going to let it cook for 15 minutes. Uh, I'll turn it down low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. After that, I'll be back with you and we'll add the beans in it. So we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, my 15 minutes is up. Let me take a look at these. Uh, those vegetables look like they're getting good and tender. Definitely smelling good. Okay, next step, I've got two cans of pinto beans and I have rinsed them off and drained them real good. So I'm going to add these to the pot. Okay, let me get these steered up real good. I'm thinking that just by looking at mine, I think I've got enough juice in mine, so I'm going to leave it as is. But if yours looks like it's too dry, you can add just a little more broth to it. And I'll watch mine close. Uh, you need to let them cook now for 10 more minutes. If it looks like it's getting too dry, I will add some more broth to it. So we'll put the lid back on. Let it cook 10 minutes. Uh, these are the Mexican cornbread muffins that Marie made. And we're going to be having these with the beans. They're really going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. So we'll be back with you in about 10 minutes. Okay, the 10 minutes is up. Had it cooking pretty good there. Let me turn it completely off. Okay, that really looks good. Now you could serve this just like it is, and it would be a good chunky 
uh, pinto bean soup. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it cool here just for another second. I'm going to take the immersion blender and I'm going to blend about half of this soup and I'm going to try to do it while it's still in the pot. So let me be careful here. Let me see which one's low speed. I think this is low speed, and I'm going to do about half of it. Okay, it's got about half of it blended up. Let me put this over here so it won't be a mess. Okay, now I'm gonna stir it all together. Okay, that gave it a little different texture to it. I think I like it just like that. You could go ahead and completely blend the whole soup up and it would be real very smooth and everything, but I think I'm good with it right there. It really looks good. Let me get us a bowl here and I'll serve us up a bowl. Marie, how's that smelling? It smells fantastic, Calvin. Okay, let me get us a little bowl of it. And there's one bowl. I believe the texture on it is just just about right like we would want it. There's another bowl. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add just a little bit of parsley flakes to the top of it. You could put green onions on it or you could put uh, sour cream on it. Purple onion. You could put a purple onion on it. Uh, I'm going to put just a little bit of cheese on mine, not much. Did you say sour cream too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I'm just putting a little bit of cheese on mine. Okay, let me get a picture of this real quick and we'll do the taste test. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove this from this eye because this, that eye is still hot and it's still simmering a little bit there. We'll put it over here out of the way for a minute. That way it won't continue to cook. Marie, did you want any cheese on yours? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Marie, give that a try and see what you think about it. Okay. It really looks great. It's pretty hot, so be careful. Is that good? Yes, it's really good. Okay. It's got a little heat to it too. I did put some uh, red pepper flakes in to make it hotter. Mm -hmm, but it's not too hot for me. Okay, let's see how I like it. This is really delicious. Okay. Anyone that makes this recipe will really enjoy it. It does have a little heat to it, don't it? <laughs> but that's about where I would like it. I don't think I'd want it to be any hotter than this. Mm -mm. Let me try one more bite. Yeah, that's good. It's real good. I had one of the carrots then, and the carrot was real good and soft, and so that's just the way I like it. I, 
I'm debating on whether I want to crumble my cornbread up inside of it or just eat it with it. And it has a, a different flavor than uh, taco pinto bean soup too. Uh, it's got just a different flavor in it. To me, it's a lot better than taco pinto bean soup. Yeah, and it, do, it don't have any meat in it, so that makes a big difference in it too. Yeah. But I think we're going to enjoy this, Marie. Uh -huh. And so... Uh, if you try this recipe, leave us a comment. Let us know how you ended up liking it. But I think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this. And it was really fast and easy to make, wasn't it? Took about, let's see, 15, 25, a total of about 30 minutes of cooking time and a few minutes of prepping time. So it didn't take too long. Uh, you could actually make this in a crock pot if you want to just let it sit all day long and cook. It would work that way too. But I've got to where I like using this little Cousinart electric uh, cooker, and I about figured out how to do the heat on it. Yeah, we have so. some of the best um, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a gift to us uh, last year. Or I should say YouTube friends. <laughs> yeah, YouTube friends. We have a lot of good YouTube friends, and we appreciate each and every one of them. Okay, well, I think we'll go ahead and close this video here so that... Uh, I can get in here and finish this bowl of soup off. It's, it's going to be great. But everyone, y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on our next video. And y'all do what you love and love what you do. And like Calvin said, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye, everyone. Used to be home, passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas, and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse, where every mile is a new beginning, and every friend holds a new end. Eyes on the road, don't lose control. I'm speeding fast to chase my soul. I'm driving. For the sky